Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And I did a video um, a while back on the free battery voltage sensor that is built into these receivers. And Eric commented and asked whether or not you can change it, the displayed value from the actual voltage to a percentage, to a battery percentage. And to be honest, I never tried it. And I, I, I tested it out and guess what? It works beautifully. So um, thank you, Eric. I'm going to be using that um, um, for a lot of my models now. Um, so here's how to do it. Um, first of all, I will link in the description the free battery voltage telemetry sensor setup um, for this and also for if you have an actual LiPo sensor, an external LiPo sensor. Um, I'll sh I, I have a video that shows how to set that up as well. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and make um, a percentage voltage sensor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into model and I'm going to page over to telemetry over here. And let's take a look at the bottom. So look at this. I've got my ADC2, which is the internal voltage sensor. I think it's um, analog to digital converter 2. Um, and it uses the AIN port, analog input port on here. And when you plug something into there, and it'll read what the voltage is. So um, again, a link in the description if you want to figure out how to set that up. But if you already know, you can continue forward. So let's go ahead and take a look. So right now it can display this number right here, which is 16.59 volts. This is a four cell battery. So if it was a fully charged battery, it would be 16.8 volts. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create that sensor. So essentially what you're going to do is you can use this sensor, but you're going to use that as a source when you create a calculated sensor. So over here, click on that, which is calculated sensor. Now the formula that you want to use, look at that, percent, nice and easy. It's already there. So the name, you can change it to battery percent if you want. Um, I'm going to leave it um, like it is for now. And then you come over here to the bottom and see where it says sensor. I'm going to go ahead and choose the ADC2 sensor. So take a look. It already came up with a number. It says 46%. Essentially, what it's doing is it's basing it on a range. So right now, let's take a look. What you want to do is you let's go back out of that. Let's go into the ADC2 sensor over here. I'm going to edit that and look at this range. So it's basing that, that uh, number that I had on this range over here. So what we need to do is we have to essentially calibrate it. Now, the way that it works is battery voltage on LiPo batteries, let's talk about per cell. The usable battery voltage uh, per cell is 3.2 volts, which would be essentially 0%, all the way up to 4.2 volts. This is a regular LiPo battery. So that's your voltage range. So if I was to set that to, um, essentially, again, this is a four cell battery. So then I would set the low to 12.8, and I'd set the high to um, 16.8. So if we do that, that's the entire length. So 0%, essentially after 3.2 volts, if you keep going, you're gonna damage your LiPo battery. So why don't we make it a little bit safer and let's just say 3.5 volts um, on the low end and 4.2 on the high end. So times that by four, and essentially what we got is 14 volts to 16.8. That's the range that I want. You can play it around with this. If you want zero to be zero, then you essentially would use 12.8 volts instead of 14 volts. I'm just going to play it a little bit safe, so this is going to warn me when I'm getting really close. So I'm going to change this to 14 volts. There it goes. To 16.8 volts. And this is how it derives the percentage. There it goes. Let's take a look now. So let's take a look at the sensor. And there you go. So right now at 16.59 volts, it's showing me 93%. You can, again, you can use that. Um, let's go ahead and do it. You can use that in the display. So I'm gonna come over here. Let's make this display over here, that battery voltage. So I'm going to configure this widget. I want a value and I want the source to be telemetry value. 
there it is, telemetry. And I want it to be the percent one that I created. There it is. And we get out of it, we see that we have 93% on that battery. Works very well, you could use this as a warning. I'm probably gonna use this on my big planes where I have two receiver batteries and um, two or more flight batteries. And I would use this for the receiver battery. So instead of looking over there and seeing that it says, you know, like I'm like on some planes, I'm using a three cell battery and some planes I'm using a two cell uh, for the receiver. And I'm gonna hook it up directly to the battery and it'll show me what the percentage of the receiver batteries are, which is gonna be really, really nice. Um, and you can set up warnings, do the same thing you can and like, I, like I, sh I showed you in the other sensor. So it works just the same, but essentially what you're doing is you're creating a calculated sensor based on the um, ADC2 sensor. Works very well and that's your percentage. Let's go ahead and um, let's just see it work. So I'm gonna um, pretend and um, sort of simulate the battery voltage going up and down. And let's just see what that sensor says. So. I'm gonna go over here to telemetry. And essentially, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go over here to that ADC2 sensor and I'm gonna uncalibrate it. So let's go down here. See how it says ratio? If I change that, it'll change what the display is on that voltage. So see that voltage is up there? 16 point, let's go 79 volts. Okay, there it is. Whoops, go one down. 16.78. Let's just see what it says now on that sensor. 99%. And let's just say that, uh, let's go back. We'll just look at it from this screen from now on. There it is, 99%. If we go back to that, let's uncalibrate it again and change it to, I don't know, like a low voltage. So I know 14 volts is my low. So let's make the battery say that it is, whoops, 14, that's the low, so it won't go any lower than that. There it goes. Let's keep going back down. Let's go down to 15.21 volts. So let's say my battery is now at 15.21 volts. And if we go look down the list now, it's got 43% remaining on the um, on that sensor. So again, you can do whatever you want with this sensor. You can do the same thing like I did in the other video, which you could set up an alarm um, if it gets below a certain point. Um, not gonna necessarily use this for my flight batteries, but probably the receiver batteries. I think it'd be really nice too. So um, anyways, Eric, thank you again um, for um, asking that question. <laughs> that was really cool. If anybody else has any comments, suggestions, or things I should try, um, go ahead and let me know and I'll see if I can take care of it. So that's it for now. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe if you want any more of these videos, and I appreciate everything. Guys, take care. Goodbye.